Alright guys, just an update. Um, yeah, things aren't going that great. My car is broken. So, um, I don't have a job. I haven't had a job for a while. And still, my boyfriend has a heart attack. So, I um, have just gone off of the hormones because I can't afford them. And my car is broken, but I know what's wrong with it. Um, I got a new valve for $22. I did get a new valve cover and gasket. And I have spark plugs to put in it. But I think the radiator might be leaking, but I have that Map Pro um, view chain thing. And I can probably um, find where it's find where the radiator is leaking, um, take it off, heat it up, and then put um, solder solder on it, and then the car shall work. Because whenever I put coolant in it, it just leaks out out of the bottom. So um, that's all that's going on. So I need to get my car going, and then I can get a job. And then I can get hormones. So, um, sorry I haven't got the apple orchard stuff posted. But just being off hormones, it's like, well, I can tell my voice has already gotten crappier. It's just depressing. And, and then my birthday is in eight days. I'll be 49. So, it's the economies they said... You know, it's the unemployment is, I don't want to, I want to work. I want to have a car, I want to have a car and work. But there's just opportunities just not there when I can't get to work. I'm not going to take Uber to get to work. Uh, like it's just, and then the plasma, I was doing, or that's not a plan. They... You go in at the end of the day on plasma and this the octoplasma, they defer you because they, they're not making, they don't get paid. They want to just cut out of there. So like I, they deferred me all the time because I had to wait till my boyfriend got done working and then he could take me to plasma and that would be at the end of the day. And then you go at, at the end of the day and they don't want to have you there even though I have vegan diet I'm eating healthy and I will produce my plasma in in 40 minutes you know they don't they don't care because they don't get paid on that so the lazy the octoplasma people um, so I'm just really bummed out no car no job and now I'm off of hormones so it's getting depressing so that's just why I'm just not around so it's not nobody it's made me feel bad it's just living being trans and being in Indiana and just not being able to make it make any like I'm not a gamer I can't make money on it um, the electronics videos are just horrible. Um, I, the, there's so many people doing streaming, um, like camming, webcamming. So it's like, like, it's ridiculous. It's like how I, I, you know, cause we do have a good internet and I don't have a, I don't even have like a bed. So I have like a broken futon that I sleep on. And the springs are coming up. So, like, it just looks so... I have so much clutter in there. It's like I don't even want to make videos. And then I can't even do camming in there. And there's so many people doing it. And I don't think people are that interested in a 49-year-old trans. So, um, the option is just to get the car running. Um, another option is to go to the junkyard and get a radiator to put in the car. It's my 2001 Volkswagen. I thought about like trying to get on Kill Tony or trying to go to 
the lies poker and trying to get money to to try to play poker like these are my like this is just terrible and, and it's just so you know the the saying if you don't have anything good to say just you know go away and that's the way I feel because I feel so bad when I'm off hormones I um it's just depressing uh, you know I am more I'm like it's terrible to say I'm a better driver I'm more focused I have more stamina I have more I can so I can do the warehouse jobs but I hate this little pattern that I've been getting into the last few years um, and it goes like this I have these entry-level jobs that I get and they already have 20 year olds and 30 year olds that like I can't move up in there because they already have 20 year olds and 30 year olds in these jobs they're not going anywhere they're not vacating those positions and they already have everything set so all you have to do is is you're working 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 you can't impress anybody you can't move anything you can't do anything all you can do is make money to get hormones and then buy a better car that's a good plan but what happens is is see now I'm off the hormones and it's depressing so then I got to interview for jobs I got to first fix my car then interview for jobs and then I have to go in there without the hormones then I'll start getting money for the job from the job if I get high if I fix my car and if I get hired then I'll then I'll be taking the hormones and then I'll go through the hormone thing again so it's not like you're a, I'll be 49 in, in eight days so it's not like you just turn into a 49 year old woman what happens is is you mash down all that testosterone and you add all that estrogen in and then I'm just like like a teenager almost it's horrible but then you have to go through that and then it just makes the job so much stressful and I'm in Indiana and people just have no patience in Indiana for LGBT uh, Ohio Indiana just this is a very conservative place it's very depressing no car no job no hormones boyfriend had a heart attack it's just depressing so I haven't even had the motivation to put up the um, see it's just this, like this is the videos you know I'm turning into Fran Lab where you just complain about stuff and it's it's just horrible you know so I don't I I'll be back when I get you know I get like a lot of my identity just comes from a job I every single job I get I'm like I'm gonna retire from this job I remember having a job back in 2000 2009 and I was just like I'm gonna retire from this job I'm gonna know everything about this job I'm gonna learn everything about these people I'm gonna like and I just make it so much extra and I really do get into it I really don't want to be a shadow that clocks in and clocks out but uh, sadly that's what they want is a shadow that clocks in and clocks out and I can do so much more I have um, so much more I have two years of electronics schooling plus a lot of on my own and then 115 degrees of 115 credits of biology so I have these skills but I get these entry-level jobs I'm off the hormones I get back on the hormones and then I just like um, and then so just to wrap it up and say it one last time it's like a lot of it my problems are the fact that I just live here in Indiana and there's no opportunities people it's just very difficult you know I'm lower lowest lowest 49 year old trans is the lowest lowest on the totem pole I get run off of the jobs and it's like I'm not gonna be a victim but you, you know that's the reality here it's a very very conservative place and you know people don't have any patience for me they don't want anything to it doesn't matter that I can do things that I'm passionate about things that I have great communication skills that I 
really am engaged, that I really am interested in the job, even if it's the most boring thing where we're making boxes. I'm interested. I get interested in it. And then I just bother people to the point where they, there's some, somebody just, there's always people that just, just can't stand me and just want me to run because, because I'm not a incel that's an alcoholic, which is what you, how you get ahead today. So, um, I don't know. I just, it's sad that I just sit at home and just am bummed out and all I can do is sleep and because I'm so depressed because I just I don't have a car to get to a job. I can't lie. I can't, I have an e-bike, but from what I see people, the way people drive is if I get on that e-bike and start trying to go to a, to a job, I will end up in the hospital. I guarantee it. The way people drive in this side of town in, in Indianapolis, they won't be like, oh, I, this is a trans. I'm going to run them off the road. No, I see so much distracted driving, so much um, road rage. It's just crap. I just, it just in Indiana. And then if I'm on some kind of bike, it's just not. I'll just end up in the hospital. And, and you know, maybe that's a good way to get some money is just get hit, go, get on a bike, get, get a job at Wendy's or Burger King, let somebody hit me, they, I won't die, and then I can get money, you know. I can't pay my credit cards, I don't have a job. And the worst thing is, is now that I don't have the hormones, it's just like my mental health is just... So there, that's why I'm not around. It's not because I'm playing games or somebody ran me off the internet. It's like I, when I feel good and want and have a job and feel good about myself and have a car and a job, I like it so excited and I get everything so excited. I make videos and I get silly and I stay up and, and everything's fun. I just... Like nothing, I just don't feel like the internet just doesn't feel like fun anymore and it used to be the fun thing for me, but this is what happens. This is what happens and so I may be just aging out of, of it. And so there's stuff you can watch from the past, stuff I made from years ago, but I, I have passion to create more videos and do more funny things. I have all these ideas and but when I just feel depressed because I just feel worthless because I, I mean I just see these people at the dollar store that just look like bums. I'm like how do you have this how do you have a thirty thousand dollar car? Like how? How? How do you do legally get that? I don't, I, I mean, maybe I should just, well, the word possess your car if you can't pay for it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I just get these lemons, these, these crappy cars, the 2006 Nissan wasted money, hundreds of dollars on that, kept trying to fix that, kept trying to put a starter in that. The Kia broke. It sat there for too long. The, I lost the keys to it. We had to take off the whole shaft to get to to touch wires together to make it start. Then that eventually was doing the smoke thing. And then the Vibe, the head gasket, the Vibe cost me an Amazon job because I it broke down the highway and then Firestone wouldn't fix it. Now I pay thousands of dollars for this VW in 2001 and I just get these cars that like how am I going to get to a job how am I going to do a job if I can't even get there nobody wants to hear that excuse anymore and, and I see these bums it's just like bums that have cars that have nice cars I'm like I, I don't know I can't do anything illegal to get, I uh, I don't want to get involved with that because I want to stay away from all the medical and legal s stuff. So, yeah, there you go, 15 minutes of that's why I'm not around. So, happy holidays.
Happy holidays.